Hi, Joey. As discussed in our recent emails, I'm sending you this Xbox One S for your free viewer repair series. Both my son and I are big fans of your channel and we regularly watch your videos together. The console originally belonged to my other son, Ethan, when his Xbox stopped working. Ashton kindly swapped his own working console with him so that Ethan could carry on playing, leaving Ashton with this non-working one. Let me tell you something. Ashton, I'm going to try my hardest to get this console working for you. What an amazing brother you are. That's incredible. The fact that you gave your brother your console so he could carry on playing. Originally, the fault was overheating. I stripped the console down to clean it and replace the thermal paste. Unfortunately, the X clamp tool I bought turned out to be very flimsy and bent while I was trying to remove the clamp. In the process, I believe I accidentally knocked a capacitor or two off from around the APU area. From memory, the console is now beep on beep off. If for any reason the Xbox cannot be repaired, please feel free to keep it for spares. I'm going to try my hardest to get this console up and running. I'm going to test it first and make sure that exactly uh, what happens is what is in the uh, in the letter and hopefully we can get it sorted is it beep on beep off exactly as they've described i can see the sync button missing down here as well ready three two one beep on oh okay so that is that is probably that's probably around about five seconds i think five seconds blood now ben has said in the chat big up ben he helps me almost every single day ben has said if we've got a missing component behind the apu it's going to be a five second beep on beep off if the beep on beep off is shorter something else is wrong now from that it seems around about five seconds or so uh that would indicate to me that we are potentially looking at missing components off the back of the apu as instructed by the letter let's get inside now, i've not been inside one of these for a long time man. how do i take them apart obviously it's been taken apart before i'm just seeing if i can hear that sync button the sync button definitely isn't like in this area. Uh, maybe the sync button fell out before. Now, the good thing about having a electric screwdriver is exactly for these. These are the worst screws in my opinion. Uh, well, the Series S is really, really bad. Sorry, the Xbox One X. Oh my gosh. Those screws can be a nightmare. Well, I'll tell you one thing straight off the bat. They've put all the screws back in the right places. There is one missing. I think we have a missing C3 and a missing C4. There's no like accidental putting the screws in the wrong place or anything like that. I believe these are for the hard drive caddy as well. So I think I've got, again, a bunch of spares upstairs. So I will look into that and hopefully be able to just simply replace it. But we shall see. Again, I've not touched one of these in such a long time. We've got the screws missing from the front as well. So the, the board here is a little bit floppy. And you've got the four black screws that are meant to go here. They're gone. The sync button on the bottom, I'm going to be able to sort because that's on the chassis itself. We still have the eject and we still have the power. So that should be okay. So, I mean, whilst I'm here, when in Rome, I'm just going to simply take this out just like that plop it over here i'm actually gonna whilst i'm here because if the issue is on the apu like they've said i'm just going to take out the remaining screws so it's going to be easier i believe some screws here oh okay well i've just realized the reason why this might be beep on beep off is because we're missing the drive so uh let me just <laughs> let me plug the drive in and just see what happens it's gonna beep on beep off if we don't have a hard drive you get 30 seconds on off on older firmware on new firmware will even display a picture oh so it, will, it should work without drive well work being the loose term i guess right so this is with the drive plugged in turning on light as you can see down here no it just shuts off the hard drive does click though they've still got that which is really impressive by the way because i even have sometimes forgot to put this back so the fact they've they don't even necessarily do repairs and they put this back is uh, is a credit to them really oh wait a minute tamper proof seal lord that glove someone been in this power supply something or is this an aftermarket one this looks like an aftermarket one microsoft made in china what i mean it's definitely not oem i think we can all uh all confirm and agree is definitely not OEM. I'll check the back of the APU first and then um, I'll just bear that in mind that we've got a bad one. I'm excited to see the back of this and to see if there are any components that have been knocked. Can I see anything with my bare eyes? It's going to be tough. How's this X clamp? Oh, this X clamp's fine. Yeah, this one's okay. So I think they said that this is a new one, isn't it? Or is they actual tool itself? Oh, hold on. I think I can see our issue. I've never had something like this before, by the way, ever. A lot of thermal pasta. I'll tell you what, a lot of thermal pasta. But it's so much better that you see more than less. Because if you see less, that's GG. More, it just gets a little bit messy. Doesn't really affect too much. Okay, that'll do for now, hey? Yeah, that's fine. Right, let's, uh, let's turn this over and see what the situation to the nation is. I can see, I don't know if you can see straight off the bat. Can you see a little bit of flux here? And I can also see like a bit of maybe like a burnt cap or something. Okay, so I'll go over to the area that's affected shortly. But uh, I'm just seeing in and around the area. So we've got a little, you see a little bit of that pad is exposed there. But I don't think that's too bad. I see those traces as well. I don't think this is too bad here. No, that's okay. It's just scraped uh, a little bit of the trace. 
as long as it's not touching ground but i don't th it, those two aren't conjoined so for example there's my tweezers this was exposed here which is ground and this was exposed and it was touching because it was bent up or something on the trace we'd have an issue but that's not the case there we've got these traces here i'm just making sure that they're going to be okay um to be honest they look at look at we've got a couple of test points let me see multimeter in continuity mode which is the mode that beeps and i'll be able to see if one path goes to the other so i'm just going to test a couple of locations here um, i might have to scrape you know i think i'm gonna have to scrape either side just to make sure that's better continuous path continuous path continuous path okay so we know that that's okay sweet again so just a, whoop okay we've got this bad boy missing i can't believe i spotted this to be honest because this is in this is not in the same area that i've seen uh the issue so i'm super glad that i've just managed to catch this it's actually quite far over from the main area so we've got this here which clearly looks like we had a component before yeah so what i'm going to do real quick is come in with some flux let's just come in with a little bit of flux here and my iron and i'm just simply a little bit of leaded i'm at 350 for some reason i can't remember why probably when i was um doing something There's nothing there. So I think this is going to be... I think, well, it says C, C1R4, right? I mean, is that cap or resistor? <laughs> is that cap or resistor, CR? The capacitor is used to calculate the current going into the APU on the V CPU core power rail. So it's, so it's quite important then, hey? This might be the one then. So I'm just going to put a blob of uh, solder on each of those. I will come back to that in a second. And I'm just going to place a cap there. So it's quite an important one. I believe it's capacitor. Okay, let's continue inspecting. So we've got that. Um, I'm just checking around this area to see if there's any other not components. I don't think there is. But again, it just could be anywhere, you know. So we just need to be cautious. Whereabouts am I on the board? I'm here. Just go over a little bit more. Just make sure none of these small caps are missing. So that's when, you know, you see these little small caps and you think they're not important. Sometimes they can be. Now, if we see here, look, we've got another area that's taken quite a hit. This is fine, this trace as well as the fact this resistor here is not populated and you can tell because you've got the little copper underneath that you can see but this area has taken a bit of a uh, a bit of a hit as well so let's just quickly give it a clean just like that because the areas that i clean are the areas that i know that i've been in right and then i'm going to show you the area of damage that i've seen in a second i'm just going to continue to take a look around the outskirts and just double check and see if there's any other components missing here this part again around the screw hole i just want to give this a clean this is all ground so we've got a lot of exposed copper here but it's all on all on the ground plane so this doesn't matter this is all okay um i'm going to go over again i'm going to show you the big area in a second let's clear up this as well exactly the same thing just checking in these corners see if we've got any missing caps or components doesn't look like it okay so now here's the main area of contention I'm just checking around. This is this is directly underneath the APU. I'm just trying to work out if there's meant to be a cap there. I think there is. And the reason I say that is because these big caps here, I don't know what they are. I think they're 0604s. None of them are missing. They're all on their pads. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that we are meant to have a cap here. This, I don't think, however, is going to be affecting our issue with the console turning on and off. I think it's more so going to be the important cap that we had down here. I think this is the reason our Xbox is beep on, beep off like ben said but uh yeah around here just needs a little bit of a clean i think this is all just solder that's flown off so what i'm going to do real quick is coming at 480 degrees celsius 99 percent airflow heat this up and give it a quick clean so i can see what's going on because at the moment the situation looks a little bit dire okay so it looks like they have i don't know if they've attempted repair because it does look like there's quite a bit of flux or something in this area now again i don't think a cap needs to be replaced here there's there's quite well there's only well one two on this three technically on this line but two of the same size i'm going to replace it anyway i don't want you know it's there for a reason at the end of the day and it could be something later on down the line where um you know it goes to to, to smooth out some sort of voltage and it, it it can't do that because this cap isn't here whatever i'm just going to replace it so i'm going to add a tiny 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 little bit of leaded solder to these pads and i'll simply just use a donor what's that is that solder that just came off the uh came off the iron i think it is not needed just a filter gotcha thank you for confirming ben okay so we're gonna go 480 we can rip 480 here make sure that i can see the same cap uh where is it this one cr one c1r4 c1r4 here we go imagine if i was missing it on this one i'd be like well at least i know why this one wasn't working 
Now, I actually done that at a really silly angle. Uh, if I was a bit smarter, what I would do is rotate the board so that this was easier. I'm just putting the temperature down, uh, the speed a little bit down to 50%. And then we should see this just shimmy into place. Ready? There it goes. Lovely jubbly. Now, whilst the board is hot, I'll take the big cap that I wanted to replace on the back of the APU as well, which is just here. Exactly the same, but I can um, I'll probably blast this. 99 for now. And this is just two caps. And I'm going to do the exact same silly thing and do it this way, vertically rather than horizontal. Because I'm a moron. Tiny bit of flux there. Now this cap does look different, doesn't mean anything. It's all good. Let's give it a quick reflow. Let it settle into place. There it is. Now we just give this a nice little clean. You can see that it looks pretty good. And then also down here, where we've got the one we also replaced, we'll give it a little clean. And then with the microfiber, that's not going anywhere. And then we've got this one as well. Now, usually I think what I would say is it would be best practice to kind of put conformal coating on these areas, but because they're ground and they're not necessarily near to any traces, except for the one that's down here. Um, but I also believe that this isn't ground. I don't think so anyway. I think this is like um, substrate or something, which is usually the layer they put in between to sandwich and separate the boards. Because when I scrape it, can you see there's no copper? So to be honest, I don't even think that needs covering. Plug in drive. It's powered up. Stop. Stop powering up. Please, let me turn it on. This is really good. Uh, and you might be thinking, Joe, why is it good? The fan's spinning. I think this means it's in a standby mode. So if I push the on button, I think it's going to work. <laughs> yes, I think it's working. I think we're good. I don't believe it. Wow, that small little tiny cap is enough to cause a beep on beep off, by the way. How insane is that? Um, let me check and make sure that I get a, uh, a display. Actually, I should probably turn it off first and put some stuff back, right? Two nice free fixes today then. It's actually now been a few days since I completed that repair. And my priority was obviously just getting that repair back to the customer. And I've done exactly that. But what I actually forgot to do was show you it fully back together and show you that it actually works with the HDMI plugged in and all of those good bits. But I can assure you that it does in fact work and it's been sent back to the customer. It's the first time I've ever had a repair that has had a knocked component off the back of the APU where it's just been like a beep on beep off and I've actually managed to fix it. Full credit goes to the people who sent it in and who told me exactly what the issue was. It made the job a thousand times easier. Big shout out to Craft Ben Mine as always in the live streams. He's always helping out. So what I'm going to do is I'll leave his channel link down below in the description. Feel free to check out some of his videos. He's extremely knowledgeable and helps me so much. And luckily this is the kind of community that we have. So if you want to join the discord, I'll leave a link down below in the description for that as well. Thank you very, very much for watching. Sorry about the rubbish ending. It's been a very, very busy week for me personally. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And as always, I shall see you in the next one. Goodbye.